Good morning, everyone. It's uh, Tuesday, August the 7th. Well, in the last few days, um, I've been thinking about uh, something that um, continually is brought up during these past five years of um, Pope Francis's papacy. And um, I just wanted to, you know, share my thoughts with you for a few minutes and um, have you, or I would like for you to just keep this sort of big picture in mind uh, because it is a reoccurring theme uh, in this papacy. And I think we are going to see, it's my opinion that we're going to see, um, this being applied to other areas. And what it is, is um, the dignity of the human person and how uh, we can violate the dignity of the human person. Now, I, I think all Catholics and, you know, certainly all clergy would say that, um, that God gives um, dignity to his creation and to the human person. And I think this has always been recognized. Um, but what's different here is with Pope Francis, he elevates uh, this dignity to the top spot, okay? Now, we just saw this with the death penalty um, where he um, talks about you know, how uh, it's important that we don't violate the person's dignity. You know, you know what exactly he means by this, or, you know, it's, uh, you know, people have different sort of takes on this. Um, but um, he puts that, um, that supersedes everything. He puts that above the um, countries or state uh, state's right to put a person to death, which is given by God in Scripture, and uh, for 2,000 years, um, you know, no one ever argued about this. Uh, it's uh, pretty much was a, um, you know, something that we all recognized, through, I believe, I would think, throughout Christianity. There are many examples in Scripture where God tells either a person or um, uh, like the Jewish people to put, you know, uh, the Chaldeans or I don't know that specifically, but whatever, uh, you know, because uh, they're evil people and uh, they won't turn to him. Um, so we've seen this with the death penalty. And uh, this is also part of the argument for immigration. Um, Again, what he does is uh, he puts this above the country's right to secure their borders. Um, maybe not under all circumstances, but um, it's really obvious that in his way of thinking, uh, the dignity of the human person cannot be violated in any way. Now, um, you know, what I want to just mention here is that I believe, um, you know, because we have five years of this going on, that we're going to see this argument being put forth in other areas. Now, when we talk about um, um, communion for the remarried and also contraception, all right, so... Um, you know, in both those situations, there are two people that are uh, married, uh, either appropriately or not, uh, you know, depending on, um, you know, I mean, Jesus doesn't recognize remarriage, so, or, you know, and God doesn't recognize remarriage. Um, and I think, you know, uh, in terms of contraception, um, you know, the Pope could say something along the lines of, um, you know, the dignity of the uh, person, which in this case um, 
is uh, formed in the bond of matrimony uh, cannot be violated. In other words, uh, the fulfillment of the dignity of the person has to do with sexual intimacy and uh, this can't be violated. So you see, all of a sudden, if you think like that, then, you know, contraception is acceptable because it's part of uh, being fully human, um, being part of the dignity of the person and for the health of the um, marriage. So, um, you know, I really look for, uh, I really look to see that this argument's going to be made constantly. Uh, it could also be made, uh, you can use this argument to support gay marriage. In other words, you know, the Pope has already said uh, that God made you that way. Uh, he accepts you and loves you that way. Um, so, I mean, and of course, this was in a conversation that he had, uh, a private conversation. But, you know, uh, all these things that the Pope says in private, and then they come out in public, and then he or the Vatican spokes news, um, um, you know, the, the press office um, never, um, you know, corrects, uh, you know, makes a correction to say that, no, the Pope didn't say this or he didn't say exactly this. This is what he said. You know, I think we can assume that um, this is really what the Pope has said. Um, that um, so again, this has to do with the uh, the dignity of the person, and um, you know he could use uh, the Pope could use this argument to say that um, the uh, the dignity of the uh, homosexual person is being violated um, because they're you know we're we're stopping them from fulfilling. Uh, the to their, their total dignity, which has to do with, uh, could be, with, you know, in many cases with marriage and of a sexual relationship. You know, as bizarre as that sounds, um, you know, I could see it happening. And I can even see it happening with priests, you know. Um, the, uh, the argument being that... Um, a priest is not, you know, we're violating the dignity of the priest because they're not able to completely fulfill uh, all of what God has made them to be, you know, which is in part marriage and a sexual relationship with their uh, spouse. You know, so um, I think what's going to happen here. And, um, you know, because it's been, this has been going on for five years and, you know, you, you can make this argument of the dignity of the human person and how we cannot violate that to, um, you know, to make all kinds of changes in doctrine. And I think um, this one about the death penalty, which, um, you know, uh, there was an article, I didn't put anything up, but, um, you know, the U U.S. bishops in general, now I don't know how how they came across this idea, but, um, you know, very, very much received this as um, a legitimate and um, true doctrinal um, 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 evolution, so to speak. So, um, you know, ke keeping this in mind, um, you know, because I think it's always important that we keep the big picture in mind. And I, it's almost like when you have the big picture in mind, you can see, or at least, you know, you're not, you're not sure about this, but you, you have a, a good sense of um, not only where we've been and where we are, but where um, we're being taken, or at least 
the Pope is trying to take um, Catholics in a certain direction. And um, it's always good to keep these uh, very basic kinds of uh, um, concepts in mind about really, you know, what, what he's doing. Because most people just look at these things individually and they don't really see uh, the thread that um, sews them all together. And I, I believe it really has to do with the fact that uh, his argument in part or mostly has to do with uh, we can't violate the uh, dignity of, uh, of the human person. So I just wanted to give you that thought this morning and, um, you know, enjoy your day. And uh, we'll talk to you later when there's some, uh, some news that I'll put up uh, after a while.